Hey everybody, I'm back from Orlando after speaking to a group of leaders up there and spending uh, spending the night and talking with these leaders about leading under pressure. One of the big keys in leadership though that's all about is communication. And it's pretty funny how people think they don't know how to communicate, they have to take entire seminars, they have to figure out how to communicate with other people. And there are, I in fact this morning, I was scrolling through and I had to scroll right past. You know, sometimes you have to do that, but I stopped and I saw this guy is actually selling a course talking about, are you ready for this? That in order to be a better communicator, hang on, I wish I had a drum roll right now, I don't, I just have wind. But, but this guy actually said, the key to communication, are you ready? The key to communication, this is it right here, is to look at something from the other person's perspective. And I thought, wow. See, the problem with communication is that if you know that, that just means you're not doing it. That just means that you are too busy talking about yourself, talking about other things, trying to get your message out, trying to get your things across to them, that you're not spending any time looking at the other person's perspective. This is not, it's, it's, it's simple, but it's hard for people to do. And I don't know why we read more books and we take more classes and we do all of this stuff instead of simply trying to communicate better. I know that sort of pulls the curtain back a little bit, and it doesn't sell courses. I don't have an ebook to sell you. I don't have a, I don't have a, a, a subscription service. I don't have anything like that. Just do it today when you're talking to people. Truly try to get inside their shoes. It's all part of emotional intelligence. It's 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 really beginning to see things from their perspective. Now here's the point. Often we're not able to do that because we are so focused on what we want, on what we want to say. And sometimes we have those things called blind spots. We all have them. And if someone keeps bringing up to you on a regular basis that there's a maybe a particular issue and you keep saying no, 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 you better look at it again, especially if they're if it's people that love you right where you're at. And they're not necessarily trying to change you. They just they just want you to be better. They're not trying to manipulate, they're not trying to twist, they're not trying to turn, they're not trying to do any of that. They're just trying to get you to see these blind spots. How do you how do you see the blind spots? Talk to other people. Say, look, is there something that I'm missing? Is there something that I'm not seeing? Be willing to admit that you have blind spots in communication and then truly seek first, as has been said, to understand before you seek to be understood. If you try to understand where your audience is at, whether that is an audience of one or 100, and you really do empathize and get deep down where they're at, you will be more easily understood. Have a great day.